I'm Clover, this is the Gas Channel, and today we are solving Flight to the Four by Philip Newman. This is a quadruple Sudoku. So we have uh, normal Sudoku rules, so replacing the digits one through nine, once each in each row, each column, and each outlined three by three region. And in addition to that, we have some white circles that each have four numbers in them. And those four number clues tell you the four digits that have to be in the surrounding four cells around the circle. So let's start by marking this one, because this clue says 1, 2, 3, 4. We know that those four cells have to contain 1, 2, 3, and 4 in some order. Now these four have to do 2, 3, 4, 5. That tells us two things, actually. One of them is that this can't be a 1, because these four cells will already be taken up by 2, 3, 4, 5. The other one is that the 5 has to go there, because this cell cannot be a 2, a 3, or a 4. So the 2, 3, and 4 are in these cells, and that's the 5, because 2, 3, and 4 are already used in this quad. And we're going to do something very similar all the way down this diagonal made of quads. So this can't be a 2, and these cells have to be 3, 4, 5, and 6, and that can't be a 5. And now 4, 5, 6, and 7 have to be in these four cells, so this can't be 4, 5, 6, because the 4, 5, and 6 have to be in here. So that will have to be 3, which resolves that to 4 and then 2, and we can eliminate 2 from those cells. We've now done 3 and 4 in this quad, so we can eliminate 3 and 4 here and make that a 6 and make that a 5. So now these guys are going to be 4, 6, and 7, and that's not a 6 by Sudoku. Now these will be 5, 6, 7, and 8. This cell can't be 5, 6, or 7 because those three digits are all already in these four cells. So that's going to have to be an 8. That can't be a 4, and then these will be 5, 6, and 7. This can't be a 5 because it has to be from 6, 7, 8, and 9. And to be clear, this isn't like a standard rule of quadruples. Typically, there is not a rule that says there can't be any other digits around the, around the quad. So if, for instance, you have a quad clue that only has three clues, clue digits written in it, then you don't necessarily know that there aren't other distinct digits around it. But in this particular puzzle, every single one of our quad clues has four different digits written around it, so we know those have to be the exact four digits that appear in those four cells. So now I have six and seven here, so this must be the five. These are going to be six, seven, eight, and nine. One, seven, eight, and nine are in these four cells, so seven, eight, and nine can't go here. That makes that a six. So we can eliminate six and seven here, and then by Sudoku, we eliminate the eight here making it a 9, and now this is going to be an 8, and we have a 1, 7, 9 triple. Now these have to be 1, 2, 3, 4, so this can't be 7 or 9, that's our 1. These are going to be 2, 3, and 4, and our last digit in this region can only be a 5. So now let's move on to the other quad clues. So these are going to be 1, 2, 3, and 4. This can't be a 1. These are going to be 4, 5, 6, and 7. These two cells can't be 4 for a couple reasons. First of all, there's a 4 in the column, and second of all, there's a 4 in this quad. This also can't be 6, because there's a 6 over here. These can't be 5, because there's a 5 in the column, and this can't be 6, again, because there's a 6 right here. These four cells are 3, 4, 5, 6, so this cannot be a 7. That must be our 4, which eliminates 4 from these cells. And these are going to be 3, 5, and 6. That's not a 5, because of the 5 here, and this is not a 6, because of the 6 here. Now that we've placed this 4, we resolve a 3 here, and we can eliminate 3 from those cells. And with that 3, we can resolve this 6. Now, these digits are 2, 3, 4, 5. We have a 3, 5 pair here that eliminates 3 and 5 from these cells, and then this also can't be a 5 because of the 5 in this row. The 6 we placed earlier gives us a 7 there, and now we have 4 and 7 in our 4, 5, 6, 7 quad, so that's got to be 5, and that is now 6. And the 5 resolves this 3, 5 pair, so now we know that's the 5, for this 2, 3, 4, 5 clue, and then that's the 2, 3, and 4. I'm just going to mark these three digits. Actually, I'm not even. I'm just going to place them, because what do they have to be? There's only 1, 2, and 9 left in the region. 9 can't go in these cells, so it goes here. And then there's a 1 there and a 2 there. Now this is basically resolved. This cell sees a 2 and a 3, so it is a 1. The cell sees a 1 and a 3, so it is a 2. These now can't be 2s. This must be a 2. The 7 here resolves the 7, 9 pair over on this side. And this isn't a 2 because there's a 2 there. These two cells in this row are now a 3, 4 pair. And vertically here, these two cells are going to be 7 and 8 to finish off the column, if I am not mistaken. Now these will be 5, 6, 7, and 8. I have a 5 and 7 in this column already, so I'll eliminate those here and make that a 6, 8 pair. And then this will be a 5, 7 pair. And what else have we got to work with now? So this digit can only be a 9, which means there's only one position left for 9 in this region, which is right here. 
These, therefore, are 6, 7, and 8 to finish region 1. And so we have 6, 7, and 8. We have 9. So in these cells, we need 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This cell sees a 3, a 4, a 1, and a 2. So that's a 5. And then that is 1 or 2. And this is 1, 2, 3, or 4. But because we already have 2, 3, and 4 in the region, that's definitely the 1, making this the 2 making this the two for this quad, eliminating two here, and making this the two for this topmost quad and kind of bouncing around to resolve things. Now in this region, region four, we still need seven, eight, and nine. Seven can't go in these two cells, so it goes here. Nine can't go in this cell, so it goes here, and therefore this is our eight. We can eliminate a seven from right there. Vertically here, we need a six and an eight to finish the column, and those are resolved, and we need a one. And here we're going to need 7, 8, and 9 to finish the row, and that's not quite resolved on its own yet, so we'll leave that be for a moment. Now what next? Vertically here we have 5, 6, and 8, 7, and 9, so we still need 1, 2, 3, and 4. That should help. We need to eliminate a 4 there because there's a 4 in the row. Eliminate a 1 and a 3 here, and eliminate a 2 here. That doesn't quite take care of the entire thing yet. Let's, um, oh! I just saw what I've been missing, so I was a little sloppy doing the beginning steps of this puzzle. I have 5, 7, and 8 here. That makes this a 6, so that's a 4 and that's a 7. That will help quite a bit. These two digits are now 6 and 8 to finish off the row. These resolve because of the 4 I just placed. I can eliminate a 7 from there. This is now 1, 3, or 4, but that can't be a 1, therefore this is a 1, which bounces back and resolves this stuff via classic Sudoku. This cell has to be a 2 in the column. These cells are going to be a 1, a 4, and a 9 to finish the region. There's already a 4 and a 9 in row 3, so that's our 1. That's a 4, 9 pair. This is now going to be a 7 or an 8, because those are the last two digits we need to finish the row. So that's now a 7. That's an 8. You can eliminate 8 from there. The 7 resolves the 7, 8, 9 triple. These are going to be a 1, 5 pair to finish the column. That's going to be an 8 to finish this column. And these are going to be 3 and 9 to finish this column. And now we can just finish off with Sudoku. The 8 sees this 6, 8 pair. The 6 sees this 6, 7 pair. The 7 sees this 5, 7 pair. This sees the 1, 5 pair. This 3 here sees the 3, 9 pair. 4 and a 1, 9 and a 4. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's lovely quadruple Sudoku, Flight to the Four. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I will post a link to solve it yourself in the description below this video. Go ahead and check that out, and I will see you again three days from now.